We are 1040 AM KGG or 106.9 FM. We are so glad that you decided to tune in today. Listen, we have some important information that you definitely do not want to take advantage of. Uh, you may have already heard us on the air at the radio station. So we are here on our social media so that we can talk more in detail about this refresher, the refresher that is coming up. We have the Dr. Leonga. <laughs> Deidre, I love it. I love it. So when, when is this, this conference? Who is it for? And give us the time. We actually have a time correction, but go ahead. Yes, we have a time correction, but <laughs> this is, this is a worship encounter, right? Um, mm -hmm. And it is for educators. If we reflect back to the beginning of the year at the start of the year when school uh, is getting ready to be in session, you know how every pastor calls up all of the educators and the students, they call them up all at the same time. And then yeah. they pray over them and they send them out. Yeah. And that prayer lasts until about Monday afternoon at the end of the first day of school. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It is. That's it. It's all. Right. Prayer and I, I, I think people don't understand all of what is involved in teaching um in pouring yourself out to a group of people constantly giving knowledge the time that it takes to study and get yourself uh in a position where you can pour i don't think people really understand that i don't think they understand how important it is mm -hmm. and it doesn't necessarily have to be in the role of a k-12 teacher this could be a consultant it could be a principal it could be a district leader it can be a social worker it could be a per any person or persons that are pouring themselves out or pouring out knowledge wisdom understanding and that's a a gifting and a talent for you. That's a yeah. call for you. That's what this environment is for so yeah. that you can refresh yourself enough to be able to do what you're called to do, what you're designed to do. Yeah. And, and I like, I like that, that you named it ref refresher. Uh, yes. So what are some of the things that's, that's going to be happening for us to actually be refreshed that we can get from this? Absolutely. Um, so First of all, let me clear this up because somebody asked me, there will be no weird stuff. Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and get that out there. Okay, so if you're weird, don't do this. Don't do this to us and don't do this to you. Okay, don't, this do is, no, don't do it. Okay, this is a safe environment for educators to come and worship. At yeah. 730, we will have prayer. There will be 730 for there will be prayer from 730 to 8 and okay. then from 8 to 9. It's only one hour. I will or we will have worship pastors Debbie Dixon and Aaron Gordon Jr. I know, right? Down <laughs> on Aaron. Y'all aren't ready for those two. I'm just I'm just saying. So. Listen, I have I'm telling you, I've heard nothing. But amazing things about this guy. And so, you know, I, no pressure, uh, Mr. Gordon, if you're listening, no pressure. Okay. No pressure, but pressure applied. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about it. So, so you're going to have uh, prayer. So, prayer starts at 7 30. Yeah, prayer starts at 7 30. For people who are like me, you know, I like prayer. I think, yeah. I think that is like the foundation for yeah. everything. And we're talking about being tired and fatigued and needing to be refreshed. Like that's where worship, it comes from. It comes yeah. from the lifestyle of prayer um, and being in the presence of God. So I didn't want to leave that part out. So it's from 7.30 to 8. And then at 8 o'clock, we welcome you. And then I turn it over. We turn it over to the hands of the worship pastors and they take it from there. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Yes, you can come in as an elementary teacher, say you can cop a squat, uh, sit Indian style. That's what they used to say when I was in school. Now, you know, now they say <laughs> cop a squat and all that. Yeah. Anyway. Well, listen, I'm a little too big, too old to sit Indian style. But... Yeah, you worship the way that you want to worship. You feel no comfortable. Gonna bother. No, yeah, you can be comfortable. The attire is clothes. Uh, I like it. <laughs> no, no, really, that's good because sometimes pre people, yeah. when they're getting ready to go to events, depends on what they're going to have to wear or they're going to have to dress up. And sometimes that will determine yeah. whether or not 
going to come. So I like that. I know. Um, you're saying just be comfortable. Just be comfortable and come. You know, um, if you have a children's church or a youth ministry, they never get to be in the main service because they're always pouring out. Yeah. Like, this is a great, this is just for you so that you can come and worship and spend time, you know, in the presence of God. That's, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. And let's go ahead and give that, that date and location again. Absolutely. It's going to be April 26th and it's going to be at 618 North Beltline Road in Irving. Okay. So Irving, Irving is a great location. You have people who live in Fort Worth, people who are in Dallas, they may be North, South or wherever. So I like that it's a good central location. So everyone can, can come on out and you don't have to be late because it's not far. <laughs> yeah. Don't be late. Don't do this. It's only an hour. <laughs> Hey, in the words of K-12, don't be tardy, right? So so, so my hour sure late not. people, you're going to miss it. My hour late people, you're going to miss it, okay? So let's just tell yeah. our minds that it's going to start earlier than that. So Okay. Well, then we can go back to what I said before then, huh? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because some people have to do that in order for them to, to be on time. So I, I get it. I don't get it. I, I, no. This is so good. This is so needed in this time, you know, especially with the recent events happening, you know, the school shooting that happened in, in Dallas uh, a few days ago. Um, I mean, it's, it's just time. And I like the fact that educators have a place to go because Who's thinking about us? You know, sometimes you feel like you don't have a place to go to just refresh and let loose. So and, and to be, I, I'm big on the last time we had the refresher because we did one in October and we just did one in January. So we're doing these every quarter. Oh, wow. We're doing them every quarter. The, turn the turnout was we probably had about 25 people, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, so our goal this time is a hundred people. So don't let's look, do it. Right. If it rains, take an Uber. If you think about it, those who were at the past ones, you know, they got a chance to get refreshed and, and worship together and talk and pray together and all of that. And so they're refreshed. So now we need larger numbers to come and be refreshed because I mean, these are the people who are dealing with our babies. And so yeah. we need you and we want you to be okay. So yeah. make sure you definitely come out. So what is what is something else they can experience? Um, honestly, that's pretty much it. I don't know what the Lord is gonna do for you. I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> I was given the directive to create the space, and that's what we're doing is creating that worship encounter for you creating the space so you can have the worship encounter. I really don't know how God is going to answer you. I don't know how God is going to empower you. I don't know um, how God is going to comfort you. I have no idea, but I do know that the space is available. The last refresher we had, I, um, I, I expressed to them that we are not powerless. Ooh. We are powerful. Mm. And we we are not sitting in a place where we don't have power. We do have power. We do. And, right. We are powerful. I wanted yeah. to empower them and to encourage them to tap into what has been given to you. I don't think that people understand, even just like all the other uh, parts of the fivefold ministry, teachers have powers as well. Uh there are some powerful things that sit in us that require our environment in order to come out. So these things that we hate, these things that we get tired of, these things that that frustrate us is doing nothing but trying Ooh. to pull out the power that already resides in you. God is trying to show you something. And so sometimes you have to recalibrate. You got to recalibrate because you're quitting, you're leaving, you're, you know, tired, you're frustrated, you're you're acting, behaving, and engaging beneath your privilege. And I just wanted to bring that to people's attention that you are not powerless. You are powerful. A shooting can't happen in my school because I'm already in prayer. I'm already 
I'm already ready. And 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 if okay. it does, then I'm already tapped in. I'm tapped into God. There's protection here. You know, there we are on assignment. And I don't think that we understand that because we get caught up in the nuances <laughs> of day-to-day -day life. But we are on assignment. When you've been called, you are on assignment. And so I want those that have been called because you have people who teach as a job, but then you have people who engage in this because it's their calling. I, I, it is my job and it is paying me, but it is my calling. I am reporting to duty. And that's how I want our teachers and our educators to see themselves. I want you to see yourselves reporting for duty and you need to be in a place where you can get information downloaded into your spirit so that you can properly navigate the way. I always say in stories, people, when they tell their stories about their lives, they're always trying to be Jesus in the story. Mm. Someone has to be John the Baptist. Somebody. Somebody has to be the midwife that took care of, of Moses, right? Somebody has to do that. And I feel like that is the position of the teacher. We are midwives. We are the gateway to potential being realized. And that's important. It's important. You can't I get like, out of place. I like that you, that you say report for duty. Uh, yeah. Because this is kind of that where you can yeah get rejuvenated download information, but also release as well, because you can't be, you know, in the school system and just being full out blown worship prayer, you know, no, all of that. So don't embarrass yeah. us. Don't, don't embarrass <laughs> us out there. <laughs> so this is a place and a time that you can do that. Wow. I love it and definitely commend you for doing this and putting it together. So um, I'm hoping you have, you know, so many show up, you're going to have to change the location. So um, <laughs> I received um, it. Yeah, our goal is 100 people. So I need you guys to sign up. Let us know that you're coming so we can prepare for you. It is free. Um, and, uh, can, and shout out to my husband. Listen, I have to. Okay, his name is Bristol Leonga. Shout out because I just shared the idea with him and I said, I feel like I need to do this. He did not hesitate. My husband and I are funding this out of our own pockets. We haven't found we haven't found sponsors as of yet. <clears throat> They're but coming. He did not hesitate and he said if you feel like this is something you need to do, then we'll just do it and that's what we've been doing. So I love it and that's good. That's uh, that's awesome. Shout out to your husband. Um and and I know that this is a God thing. I know that this is God led and uh, it's it's time and so um, I'm just praying that it just gets bigger and bigger and uh, your your task will be trying to find a location to hold it. So mm -hmm. um, because there's so many seats that need to be filled. All right. So there you have it. Go ahead and give us the uh, date, the time and how can we let you know? Absolutely. So the date is April 26th. The time is 8 p.m. Like on the dot at 8 it's going to But start. the prayer starts at 7 30, though. The prayer starts at 7 30. See, I, I, I jumped over because some people, you know, they don't be wanting to come to prayer service. You know, prayer service used to be on Monday night. That was they need to be in, they need to be about in prayer. five people in there. Okay. They, need to be in prayer service. <laughs> they do need to be in prayer service. Okay, so 7 30 is prayer. 8 p.m. is when we start with the worship encounter. And it's only one hour from eight to nine, and it will be held at 618 North Beltline Road in Irving, Texas. Okay. You can let us know that you're coming at the refresher.net slash April 2024. Okay. Okay. I love it. So there you have it. So uh, y'all, please make sure that you in the place. This is this is for you. So make sure that you come. It's for you about glorifying God. So make sure that you uh, are in attendance. We thank you so very much for stopping by. I really appreciate you having me. <laughs> and you have an amazing day. We will see you there. Absolutely.